Greetings from beyond the fabric of reality. I'm Scythe bringing you another episode of Fate Extra. We're gonna start in an unusual place. Round six, day three, lunch break, grass room. I assume we can go to the chapel. I wonder if what's her name has anything to say about being here at your lunch break. Every time I see these two, a new question comes to mind. How powerful are they, anyway? Depends on what you mean by power. If you mean combat ability, I'm far weaker than you. As for that obnoxious little troll, one of her nicknames is Magic Gunner, for, or, such, or such nonsense. It sounds somewhat masculine, just like her. Why? You become the strongest of magi by just firing a laser beam from your forehead, right? Shoot a laser from my forehead? Don't say such moronic things to this nice girl, you harpy. Anyway, my magic manifests as a manipulation of energy and not by shooting laser beams. And as for mystic eyes of death, per death perception? Attitude. Well, that's not quite my style. Whoever gave her that nickname was dead on. I quietly gave give thanks that these two aren't active participants in the Holy Grail War. What was that? Um, nothing? <laughs> Lunchtime alteration! Oh, okay, so... Apparently... What I didn't know is... Increasing your defense actually it helps in terms of like your skill damage as well. Or at least according to the um Okay, I started at 76, 79, 81, 84. That looks pretty cool. But still, defense raises magic ability too? That's strange. Anyway. Magic ranking has been increased. What now, another alteration? No! Time to go to the commissary. Ah, uh, look at all that delicious bread. Oh, hey there, Luna. Let me guess. You're here to grab something for lunch, right? Ah. Uh, as I enter the cafeteria, I run into none other than Rin. Mind you, the cafeteria looks brighter than normal. <laughs> Today's your lucky day, instead of eating their slop, but I wanted the bread! How about trying some lunch I made? <laughs> Manuel says when, that when a contest of wills comes to an impasse, you fight with lunch! Uh, what? She made lunch for me? Why am I surprised she went through the trouble? Doesn't seem like anything out of, of the ordinary for her. However, the whole... It's in the manual thing is more than a little discon con uh, disconcerting. But let that look on your face. In case you were wondering, I do know how to cook! Okay, that makes you better than somebody else. Or two people. It's just that it's been so long since I made anything. It took me forever to finish. Heh. <laughs> so what's it gonna be? Want to have some or not? Yes, of course I do. And despite her talk about food fights and scary manuals, I'm strangely happy. That's not a good sign. Her show of kindness reminds me of my life before being forced into this brutal struggle. What? So. Why is this issue? I'll meet you in the classroom. Hurry before everything goes cold. She runs off. Might have been in my imagination, but Rin looked somewhat happy as she walked. She didn't walk away, she ran away! 
considering her normal haughty demeanor, her act of kindness caught me off guard. And the fact that I'm hearing another voice in my head, it keeps yelling at me for some reason. It's strange. Well, I should head up to the classroom before Rin's lunch goes cold. Yeah, we can still buy stuff at the missionary. Uh, wait. Let's go back. Let's sell items. Let's sell some of these remedies. I will sell 18. I will not sell that. Ooh! Actually, I will sell something else, though. I know it, it seems better, but at the same time, it's just a waste. Everything else I'm keeping. Okay, now we're gonna buy items. And pick up a little bit more of these. Actually, we don't need any more right now. We're gonna pick up some more of these lesser ones. What's the point in that? Um, if you notice, I still use them. This way to the classroom. Caster's probably asleep by now. Hey, you're late. It's been ready for a while now. Let's eat. It's like she didn't even meet me downstairs. What? I trust I'm not interrupting anything important. <laughs> oh, Le Luna Shinon, it's you. I've decided to try my hand at cooking. Care to have a taste? Et tu, Rani? What's gotten into the two of them? <laughs> yeah, I haven't heard this song in a while. What? What in the hell are you up to? Why did you show up here of all of a sudden anyway? I'm not to, up to anything. I just happened to come across some recipes and ingredients for survival rations. What? And given the current situation, I do not believe my discovery was merely a coincidence. I've been looking for you, Luna Shinon, because I think you'd appreciate these rations. <laughs> Am I interrupting anything? Nani. Damn straight you are! What crimes against the culinary arts did you commit anyway? No need to be so rude. I assure you everything is not is only not edible, but delicious. The two glares furiously at each other. Well, as they say, the, the more the merrier, right? To be honest, I'm curious to see what Rani cooked up. Well, I guess being able to see what Atlas replicants eat is a rare opportunity. Okay, I accept your challenge. Just remember that I, too, am an A-class Megas. Come, sit down over here. Oh, come on, Rin Tosuka. It'd be fun. For some of us. Oh. Eh? Why are you so nonchalant all of a sudden? It seems totally out of character for you. Funny. I was going to say the same thing about you. Are you supposed to be the ever-rational Megas? They are out of character. After that brief exchange, we all sat down and began to eat the lunches both girls had made. Rin's lunch consisted of Chinese food, such as chili shrimp and spring rolls. It looks delicious. Rani's lunch consisted of exotic Egyptian dishes. These are survival rations? Don't be shy, Luna Xion. Here, try this. Eat up. Before I respond, Rani proceeds to shove a fork full of ground meat into my mouth. Traitor. As she keeps feeding more to me, Rani mentions that this dish is called Kufa Kebab. The scent, the flavor, and the texture of the dish all come together in perfect harmony. If you like that, 
just wait until you try some of the other dishes I made. Next up on the menu is a dish Rennie says is a popular in Egypt called Kushari. I'm pretty sure I said that right. Damn you and you pronunciation things. Ah! Besides, Rennie is not blue in that statement. Wow, this is awesome too! Urge to kill. Rising. Try this one too. She hands me the Egyptian version of a falafel called a mia, which is made using fava beans. Fava. Fava. I think. Wow, everything tastes so good, Rin. Why don't you try some? And as soon as I say those words. <laughs> no thanks! Standing abruptly, Rin began hast hastily p packing up the lunch he had made. Blech. Rin? Hey, is there something wrong? No, it's nothing. I have enough of everything. It's time for me to be going. With those final words, she stormed out of the room. She seems not quite herself. Was it something I said? Obviously. Don't worry about her. Let's just enjoy the rest of the lunch, shall we? Of course. My servant decides that this is a perfect time to make their presence known. <coughs> Master, what you did was incredibly cruel, even by Tomono's exceptionally vicious standards. Though she may not be the serious rival, I can't help but feel a very a little sorry for her. What makes it even worse is that you didn't even touch the food she made for you. Jerk! If I had to sit there and listen to you compliment another girl's lunch, I'd be in tears. Did you ever see the cuts on her hands? Her embarrassment? I hope she's not crying somewhere alone. After being thoroughly be, be what? Berated by my s after being s thoroughly flamed, I'm gonna use that word instead, by my servant, I find myself bolting out of the classroom. Despite my best efforts, I was unable to find her that day and make things right. That's kind of sad. It is now the evening! What I did to Rin at lunch was pretty thoughtless. I need to find her and apologize. Now I need to find her. I'm gonna save. Why? Um, I'm saving. Now after school. Yep. Let's go in here. Ooh, a yellow note thing. That sounded like an error note of some sort. Tomono sits and an ominous silence, occasionally glancing in my direction as if she wanted to say something. It's unusual for her to be so quiet. Normally she's always talking, whether the subject's important or not. Once the sixth round started, Caster seems to sulk silently whenever I'm not looking at her. Her normal cute, perky appearance is now masked with a solemn, troubled expression. Ho! 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 Mini oboe ga nai! Did I do something wrong again? ギホン的にはご主人様絶対主義。マスターにベタ甘な私も。この件に関してはつねたくもなる通過。ご主人様なんて痛い目に会えばいいんです。あお。階段から落ちて複雑骨折とかちょっと可哀想だからパス。Why is she so angry? Uh, I checked the bread before eating it. Why so mean? And there it is. Considering 
her skills with Malefactum, I'm not brave enough to assume she's just joking around. What is making her so sulky and violent? I have honestly no idea what it could be. Um, what? I stare at her in amazement as she continues to voice her resentment with incredible vehemence. Vehemence. It can't be she's unhappy that I've been speaking with Rin recently, can it? ま、ま、怒ってないです。だってこんなの慣れてますし、分かりきっていましたから。What? Mm. Tamara quickly turns her head away and continues to voice her displeasure to the ground. She seems very agitated that Tamara what? That sentence is broken. It seems that Tamono thinks that me and Rin are lovers for some reason. That's what it's supposed to say. I don't have a choice but to act. Whether it's just Tamono being suspicious or just a huge misunderstanding, I have to do something to set things straight. However, my response might not be caliber or misleading. If I upset her, the resulting grudge might be powerful enough to cause system errors, or worse yet, Cause Rin to stop helping me. She is one of the most more famous spirits mentioned in Japanese Japanese mythology. I should do what I can to put her at ease. The only thing I dare to say is I think I should save now. Hmm. This isn't good. I have the feeling that Tomoma's level of affection towards me is sinking like a stone. ご主人様は肉食系でも草食系でもありません。つうか、アニモじゃないです。全てを食べなくては気が済まない。けど、食べた後のことは考えない。言うなればそう。ギガ系。うん。ギガ。ギガ。ギガ。ギガ。ギガ
of course, that pisses her off too, so. And that will also freeze the Matrix at level 3. Do not choose this if you're going for an E level Matrix. You can choose either Rin or Caster, but never choose the bottom option. But since I did go with this option, I am sticking with this option. So let's go. Huh? Nah, huh? No, not huh. Yeah, that's why I just said. I don't care what you just said. Yes, you do. No, I don't. I don't even need to think about my answer. Rin Hel Hel has helped me several times, but that's beside the point. I could be asked the same question a thousand times, and my response would match. It would be the same each time. I was asked this question twice. I picked the same response twice. Well, unofficially, I chose another one. One more, please. Um, okay. Fair enough. Tomono is the only one for me. I tell her that, like, that I like her more than anyone else. Yes, um, that's why I Uh, have you been watching my channel again? Uh, I highly doubt that one. She begins to jump up and down in unrestrained joy. She can jump really high. I don't feel like I've said anything momentous, but Tomono's unfriend uh, elevation makes me happy as well. Of course not. I immediately nod in affirmation. The last thing I want her to do now is to think I'm joking. Also, how do I put this? Now that I've regained my composure, I don't think I could summon the energy to repeat myself again. Um... Okay... With renewed vigor, Tomono continues to declare her determination to be victorious. Her enthusiasm is infectious. To, for her to be so focused and determined is more than any master could hope for. And above all, I think that her relationship is solid in every way. Personally, I would think that would be weird. Actually, I'm going to end the episode. Actually, I've been recording longer than I should have. So, with that, tune in again for more Fate Extra. I will now overwrite the save data. Thank you. Next episode, we're going to go find Brynn and see if Taiga is on the first floor. Tune in again for more Fate Extra.